Merry Christmas. So today is Boxing Day, the day after Christmas. I hope that everybody had a nice Christmas if you do celebrate Christmas. And um, yeah, so for me it was like really easy. Uh, I just had my mom and my sister over for Christmas dinner. And I was actually supposed to go to the Okanagan today with my partner's family or to see my partner's family. But the weather was so crazy when I woke up. There was wind, there, was, there were 90 kilometer winds per hour and it sounded like stuff was falling on the roof, like huge branches. You, you could hear stuff blowing around the yard and we were go going to leave our cat alone and I feel like the power might have went out and I just didn't like the thought of leaving her alone and having the power out or I don't know and there's been so much rain and there has been the most insane weather here so I'm also afraid of being in the Okanagan and having them shut down the highway and not being able to get back here so I was I just said like I'm really sorry I'm not gonna go um I was already packed to go and everything but I don't know it was just giving me anxiety so he went and I am here alone today <laughs> So I'm going to show you guys what I got for Christmas. It is only, I only have two items to show you guys, so it's a very small, short video. Um, so the first thing I'm going to show you is what I got from Louis Vuitton, which is really exciting. Um, I'm having some coffee, so I'm super tired today. I'm actually drinking the Nestle, like, what, what are they called? It's Nestle Cappuccino, but it's those pouches like the powder mixes I know it's not the best but whatever <laughs> I already had a coffee this morning I made myself an Americano this morning but I am just so tired what time is it it's 12 12 30 and I just can't get with it <laughs> okay so this came in the Christmas I guess like holiday packaging I've seen other people's videos and I think that this also comes in a green version. I think it was green. I might have also seen it in a red version. I could be wrong. But so this one's the blue version, which is interesting why they have different colors. I already opened it yesterday, but this was the color of ribbon that came on it. So it, oh, I'm shutting everywhere. So it came with the saffron color ribbon and this cute little tag I guess they're putting these tags on now so you can like if you gift it to somebody you can write inside who it's to and from okay so it's a really big box here we go so the way you can tell the shoe box right away is it's a drawer so yes big shoe box here and these boxes are great. I like to use them to store stuff in. Um, they work really well and they stack really well in your closet. Oh my gosh, why isn't it sliding open though? What is happening? Okay, come on. So these shoes are actually really heavy and that's one of my concerns maybe about them. Okay, so I'm going to reveal to you guys what I got. Any guesses? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay, so I got the runway sneakers in black with the, oh, that's the wrong side. See how it has the circle here? So some of them have uh, the LV, and I think the LV is in gold or in like a contrasting color. This one, it is with the black rubber so unfortunately these are large on me and I'm going to need to ex exchange them but the crappy thing is um, there are no sizes in the stores where I live um, so we have two locations in Vancouver which is like an hour drive for me but yeah they're out of stock in my size so I don't know what to do they're even out of stock in um, the other color variations. They're like out of stock in everything pretty much. So I don't really know what I can do when, you know, you have a certain amount of time to exchange, but then if they don't have stock, 
how, what do you do? Like how, <laughs> do they order it in? Is that gonna take a while? Is your time period gonna be up? Do you even know you're gonna like what you order in? I have no idea. So I guess I have to figure out what's gonna happen here. Okay, so I'm going to try them on for you guys. And this is the thing, I don't really know how to wear these, like what kind of socks to wear. So I actually did try them on with the white socks and I recorded it and it, they looked crazy. So I'm not gonna show you guys that footage. There is no point. Um, okay, so I have two different kinds of socks on right now. I'll show you. What I've noticed with these shoes is this part dips down quite low. And because your footbed's actually up high, because there is a wedge, there's like a hidden wedge in this shoe. So your, your, the bottom of your foot is actually quite uh, high up here. So there's not much room here to like hide your socks. Um, so yeah, that's one thing. So I just have to figure out like, what is the best way to wear these? The way that I visualize wearing these is with the leggings I have on, like, or just some sort of black kind of pants. I know skinny jeans and all that are going out of style, but it's really unfortunate because I really like skinny jeans. The silhouette, I just love the silhouette. I feel like it work like skinny jeans and skinny pants work so well with shoes. I feel like for the last however many years skinny jeans have been in style, haven't you guys absolutely loved not having to worry about like your shoes? I feel like the pant all skinny jeans go with all shoes. You know, they tuck into your boots. They don't go over your sneakers. They're never too long. I mean, and if they are too long, it's easy to um, just hem them or roll them up or whatever. Like they're, skinny jeans are the best and unfortunately they are going away. Okay, so this side has a black sock obviously and from what I see, this side looks better in my opinion. I mean, I don't know, I could be wrong. That's why I need your guys' help. Please leave a comment for me. Um, this side has the little sock. These shoes are big on me, like I mentioned, so I can't really get a good idea if they're going to pull the sock off because the heel is just leaving my foot because the shoe is just too big. Okay, so I have my wool coat and this is how I would wear them. I was thinking that to wear a wool coat or some sort of kind of dressier coat elevates the look and it brings them from casual to a little bit more dressy in a way and I think that they could work really well to go for a nice lunch or something like that. Um, yeah, they're actually really growing on me and at first I wasn't too sure about the black but I'm starting to really really like the black. I definitely feel that they look best with the black sock. Let me know what you guys think. Do you prefer them with no sock? Or do you prefer them with the black sock? I'm leaning towards the black sock, but I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. And yeah, I think they look really good. I would definitely wear them with like a loose fit sweater or something. Um, and then the wool coat over top and then the leggings. And I think that's a really cute look. I hope you guys can see them. I feel like I am really, really far from my phone right now. So I don't know. I can hardly see myself where I am, but yeah, I think I, they're growing on me and I really like them. At first I wasn't sure about the color, but I'm feeling like so much better about the color. I think I'm sold on the black. Um, so I'm just gonna call Louis Vuitton, I guess, and order my size in. The only other thing I'm gonna show you guys that I got for Christmas is this, which is like a total opposite thing than the Louis Vuitton sneakers. So this is what I asked for, and this is actually the only thing I wanted. I'm like, I. I just feel like I don't need stuff, you guys. Um, I don't know. Like, of course I always want stuff, but I don't need stuff. This is actually something I felt like I could use in my life. So I did ask for this. Um, this is the, how do you say this? De Longue, De Longue, um, Burr Grinder, Burr Cross Coffee Grinder. And I really wanted this because I just have the small cheap one that's like $15 where you put the stuff in the top, like put the little lid on and push the button. The thing is, is I like to make espresso and I am being driven crazy how the beans are never consistent. Sometimes there will be 
chunks of like half a coffee bean and then the rest will be like almost powder fine. Sometimes I over grind it trying to get rid of the chunks and then it ends up almost like flour. You don't want that. So I'm really hoping that with this, I'm going to get a really consistent grind and that's what I want. So yeah, you can just choose how fine you want it, put it there and then you put the beans up here. Yeah, you must. And then, um, <laughs> and then it just, I'm hoping it makes a perfect grind. So a nice, even flawless grind. That is what I am looking for. So I'm really excited. I do love my coffee. I know I'm drinking like nasty Nespresso or not even Nespresso, sorry. Um, Nescafe, Nescafe. That's what I'm having. Nescafe packaged coffee right now. But um, I do love to use my Bambino machine, Breville Bambino. Oh my gosh, I love that little machine, you guys. I did a video on it a while ago. It's so good. I really like it. So I love having my espresso in the morning. And yes, I really hope that this will do a great job. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up because I talk a lot and I do this in every single video. Um, let me know what you guys think about the shoes. And um, do you own these shoes? Let me know like how much you like them, how much, where you, you're getting out of them. Um, let me know your thoughts on the colorway, the thoughts on the socks. I'd really like some help. Thank you. And um, yeah, I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye.